Uh, my name is John Reitman. Uh, I'm with the, the local pagan community. Uh, when asked about this, uh, I, I initially found the uh, idea of wisdom from my tradition to, to be challenging, and, and I'll explain that um, on two counts. Uh, our community includes several traditions. The pagan community of Halifax is a plurality of spiritual paths and practices, and we have Wicca, witches, heathens, druids, shamanics, Greco-Roman tradition, people, Egyptian tradition, people, Celtic tradition, atheists, a few Gnostics, and others. We celebrate together. Uh, while some of the people in our community will follow only one tradition, many take from each tradition that which resonates for them. We're frankly syncretic. The following is from the greeting to new members of Earth Spirit Society. We hold that each one of us has their own path to follow to truth and spirit. We gather to search for the wisdom that is true to each of us. Life, love and spirit and reverence and joy. We gather for a mutual growth in the upward spiral that is life. So it, it, having myriad choices does not make the options easier. How do you choose? Now our old stories are more about being in balance with the world than about hope. I actually searched the internet and found no pagan hope stories. The very old stories we have tell us more about the relationship between our ancestors and their world. They taught of the cycles of changes. Now as then, we are concerned about our part in the great balance and our responsibility in the tapestry of life. I'm gonna tell you a modern story, uh, which I hope will inform us of our times. It's part of the story of Earth Spirit Society. Uh, Earth Spirit Society began in 2006 to enable service to the pagan community. We offer the major rituals for the, of the year, as well as education and representation. So it was decided by your spirit society that we should be represented in World Religion Day along with the other faith groups. It became a long process. Eventually after six years, we took the stage alongside the other groups and nothing happened other than that we were accepted. We found no editorials or letters to the editor concerned about our inclusion, no complaints, no one advising that we were not okay. We have now been part of World and Faith Harmony Week for years without issue. It's not a very exciting story. Uh, it's not full of archetypes or deities. It's just full of people and what it reveals about us today. What we discovered was a general acceptance. This is not something we generated. It was already there. We live in a place that is accepting and that is full of promise. These are inconvenient times. It's not as good as it was. We're faced with immediate long-term challenges. I am by temperament an optimist and I'm confident that COVID-19 is neither the start nor the end of what we must face this century. And there's only one thing that can mitigate what we face today and tomorrow. The ancient stories tell us to know the role we play in the world and to be responsible for it. Today, more than ever, we affect the balance. No one is alone in this. We're all in it together. So my wisdom is that it will continue to get worse somehow. We have tipped the balance and only we can moderate it. We all just need to be responsible and play our part. A lot of people are already doing that. We're part of a wave of action and intention of many parts. It's a wave that's getting stronger and heading for a tipping point. This interview is a part of it. World Interfaith Harmony Week is a part. Everyone listening, you are a part of this now. So I guess the wisdom is to know your role in the world, to be responsible for it. And, and also finally, in a very pagan wisdom, have fun along the way. You're responsible for that as well.